Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Now in today's we're going to look at playing cannons and using other balls around the table to control the cue ball. Now I think if you're only doing lineups and practice routines, it doesn't teach you the skill of using all the balls around the table to control the cue ball. So we're going to look at some examples today on how we can use other balls to our advantage when we break building. Right, so in my first example here, I'm nicely on a red, but this red here is stopping the black going into both pockets really, it's in the way. Now I think immediately people just think, okay, well I'll play this red in front of me then and I'll play a screw shot onto the pink. So I'll play a screw shot. And it's very easy to just make a tiny mistake. I should be able there to get a good shot on the pink, but if you come a little bit too far, you're leaving yourself a tricky shot on the next ball. So I think the easier thing to do here is to just think, well, what happens if I just roll the white forward? I can actually just run into this red that's next to the black move that red away from the black and then I've got an excellent chance to score. So this is just middle ball, not a hard pace, just about a 3 out of 10 in power. Just drop it in, run into that red, move it away from the black. The black now goes into both pockets and I've got a much better chance to score heavily. Example number two, I've got too much angle on this black, so I'd love to be able to pop this black and get to the next red. Now I think people think, okay, I'll just make sure of the pot on the black and I'll just roll the black in. So let's do that where I'll just make sure of the pot. So keep nice and still, roll the, the black in. Now with the white up in that kind of area, I have got a shot on this red, but it's making it very difficult because there's a big distance. Let's see if we can do something else to hold the white closer to the next red. Now this happens all the time in snooker where you might make the pot on the current ball that you're playing slightly harder to make the next shot easier. So if I pop this black and instead of just rolling it in, if I play a soft screw into the pink, I should be able to bump into the pink and then leave a shot on one of the, the other two reds. So find my line here, go into the shot, bridge hand a bit closer to the ball to get hold of it, concentrate on the pot, nice little soft screw up into the pink. And as long as I get that nice cannon softly, you can see I've left myself perfectly on both reds there. So I made the pot on the black a little bit harder so that I'm bang perfectly back in perfect position. Our next example, I've got a shot on the red just below the pink. Again, people are thinking about how can I avoid cannons? This is what I used to do when I first was getting into improving my snooker. My brain just used to be on, how can I avoid cannon in another ball? So that's what I'm trying to talk about in this video. Let's try and get into the mindset to avoid that. Now you could here, you could pop this red, try and avoid the, the cannon on the pink and play it as a screw shot and come up for the blue. So I could try and do that. So I'm putting myself back on the blue and then I've got to get to the blue to the next red. It's not a bad option in this instance, but there is something easier that we can do. So if the balls are in this position here, if I just roll this red in, again, if I just roll it forward, bump into the red that's blocking the pink potting, and then I'll just leave a nice shot on that pink to the middle. So all I've got to do is pop the red, just let the white run forward, and I'll just leave a nice shot on the pink. I can just play a little stun down onto this red and this red. So it just keeps the white much tighter there. So instead of, again, your brain thinking, how can I possibly avoid the cannon on the next ball? Just use that ball to your advantage. See if it's helping you. It might be better. This next one's an interesting shot. I've got a pot on this red here. Obviously the black doesn't pot into this corner. It does pot into the same pocket as I'm going to pot the red. You can see the pink is tied up. So in this instance here, the problem is I'm thinking, well, if I play the, the screw back to try and get on the black, I'm hitting this red. But actually here, is it a problem if the cube ball hits that red? And it actually isn't. It's not going to hit it too full. It's going to hit it half ball, bounce off and leave me a shot on the black. So again, I used to just be trying desperately to avoid cannons. And I, I might have been trying to play this with loads of top and come out for the blue or something fancy. Let's just play it as a screw shot. Bit of a stun screw because I need to widen the angle to get off that red a little bit more. But as long as I pot it, let it flick off that other red. It's left me a perfect shot on the black and I've now got a great chance to score. So once again, don't avoid that cannon, use it to your advantage. In our last example, I'm clearing the colours. I've got a shot on the yellow, but it's a little bit messy here because the green's off the spot, it's covering things. So there's two ways I could go about this. I could play a little screw shot into the brown, so let's do that. I can pop the yellow, play a screw shot like a stunny screw into the brown, move it away from the green so that I've now got a nice pot on the green. Now it would be nice here to just stun, come out, and then I've got the brown back into this pocket and I can try and complete my clearance. Let's look at the other way I could also play that shot. The second way we can play this is to just run the yellow into the green instead, and that should promote the green towards that green pocket. So this one, I just need to, around about in the middle of the ball, 
not too hard, just run it gently into the green just to knock it forward a little bit. And that's okay actually there, if I just grab the rest here. It is gonna be a rest shot for me, but yeah, as long as I've got a nice shot, I've moved the green towards the pocket, top and left, pop the brown in the, the same pocket here, flick the cue ball off, I've got a nice shot on that brown. So again, just not avoiding cannons. You're trying to use them to your advantage. It can be very, very helpful when you're brake building. So as always, everybody, I really hope you found this video useful. Like, comment, subscribe, all the usual stuff. For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one coaching sessions, I'm working on this very table all the time, helping players to improve their game. All my details are in the description box below. So if you have a look there, contact me and I'd love to help you with your game. As always, thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for next week's video. Cheers.